I'm not your typical Minecraft player. I'm 57 year old. And I see from the videos I'm watching about Minecraft that people play the game a lot differently than I do. I'm a lot more slow and methodical and probably tedious to young people. But I've learned to pay attention to a lot of details that I think a lot of people miss. So I'm going to make a few little old lady Minecraft videos so you can see the stuff that I'm learning. First, I thought I'd introduce you to one of my experiments, which is Quarry Under the Village. I made a mistake with this village in that I killed all the villagers because they were pesky and they were underfoot and they were getting in the way and walking into rooms when I was trying to do stuff and, you know. So I wish I had them now because villagers do a lot more stuff than they used to do. I built a little glass house underground with a bunch of storage chests in it for my equipment. And this is a view from that house. So you can see that I pretty much dug straight down all the way around the village, layer by layer by layer. Now there are ravines and canyons that I'm going into for rare things like redstone and diamond and things like that but I'm doing it cautiously and carefully mostly I'm digging straight down I think I've got about 10 15 more layers of block before I hit bedrock directly under the village and then I'll branch out into the ravines and stuff that surround me as you can see I went to the jungle biome and got me some vines so I can climb up and down because you see the staircase thing was getting a little cumbersome. I had stairs going every which way and I take staircases and end up at waterfalls and go, oh wait, this isn't taking me where I want to go. But the reason I built these waterfalls is to have transport up and down the game. I also have animals underground. Chickens are the best, although chickens will knock you in a hole and push you into lava. So be careful about your chickens if you let them just run loose. And I do. I believe in free-range poultry. Sheep, cattle, and pigs did not do well underground, even though, as you see, I left the dirt blocks that I came to as I dug down, and I let them turn to grass. I even planted grass on them and used bone meal and so on. So there's grass, flowers. I planted trees so I have easy access to wood when I need wood. But sheep and cows and pigs did not do well under here. There was a problem, especially with pigs going into lava. Sheep would fall off things and die. I assume that the cattle did too. Anyway, people would disappear. Plus they'd go down mine shafts and stuff, never to be seen again. So I don't recommend large livestock underground. You see that huge gravel pile that I'm making because I'm digging out right up there near the surface where I got some sounds that there's something there. So I'm digging out to see what it might be. Because if it turns out to be a zombie spawner, I've already dug out one zombie spawner, but if it turns out to be another zombie spawner or something, I want to know. I play in, is it called safe mode? With no monsters most of the time because the game is dangerous enough for me without it with the falling and the flames and the drowning and the yada yada yada. So mostly I play without the monsters on until and unless I need stuff, in which case I build myself little protections. We'll go into that more when I'm actually playing with monsters. The vines are great for climbing up and down and breaking falls and so on. So is water. So that's the view from my underground house. Now this is the view from on top of what they call the church. And here you can see the entire quarry. And you notice that I built those huge towers so that I can see the village from a distance. I know which way to go to get back to my spawn point. And there's another village in between this village and the other one. Sometimes I do return there for this and that. There's a zombie spawner at my spawn point that I would love to uncover. I can't exactly remember where it is, but someday I will go back over there and try to kill some zombies. So I made those huge towers and there's something that I wish I would have done that I do in other games and that is to put lights on the towers and to hang vines. And now that I know how to make jack-o'-lanterns, that's a lot easier thing to do. Go up about five blocks with a light reflecting block such as sand. Sand is really good because it shines from, from very far away. Go up about five blocks, jumping, putting down a block, jumping, putting down a block, and then put a jack-o'-lantern about every fifth block.
go up about 64 blocks. Plant your vines all the way around so that they will grow down. And I also put little flags on top, like go out two, three blocks in the direction that I want to know where to go. Like the farthest away tower there tells me which way to go to get back to the other village and eventually to my spawn point. So I've made some mistakes with towers because these towers, you can't climb up them because they don't have vines on them. They also aren't very well lit. I think the cobblestone one there in the back has torches on it and I think the sand or sandstone one here in the front has a torch on top so it's not very visible from far away. They are right at water sources that are more than two blocks deep so that I can jump off the tower into the water and not kill myself. This is a view again from my underground, my under the quarry house and you can see one of my waterfall transport systems in the background. Way out there in the distance is a ravine that I'm starting to dig toward that I would have broken my neck if I'd fallen through from the top. Unfortunately, I didn't. I covered this entire quarry area with glass and the connected ravines and so on are also completely covered in glass. Here's a good view of the glass. You can see what I've done. Some more vines for decoration. This is my waterfall chute. It goes all the way to the surface. There's a little stream on top and then it falls almost directly down. There's one little bump so it's a very fun ride. And then you fall down this flight of stairs facing from the fall. You end up a little bit to your left and right there at the left is a staircase. So I have pretty much all the supplies I need to grow right underground. Oh, the other problem with killing villagers in a village before the upgrade is that now those villages don't grow potatoes and carrots. Isn't that a bummer? And that's my beautiful waterfall. That's a lot of fun. At the entrance to my underground house, I planted cactus for extra protection from cooties, so when I turn the cooties on, they might get zapped by the cactus. I know how to navigate very quickly. I've practiced a lot, but I think maybe some zombies and some skeletons might get tangled up in it. There's another waterfall. These are from the opposite direction, and there's the main staircase that leads back up to the surface, although I hardly ever use it because they have waterfalls and vines everywhere. Here's a view from the top of the main staircase. That fence post is around four blocks that were missing glass because I ran out of glass while I was glassing in the top. And so I quick put a fence post around it so nobody would fall in. And eventually, when I remember, I will replace the blocks. But you can see that the entire quarry goes under the entire village. Here's another view from atop the stairs. That little black thing way out there in the distance in the inside the quarry, that's the very first piece of obsidian I came across and I kept it as a souvenir instead of mining it just to have it there because I was so proud of it because it was one of my first adventures with lava in which I did not get killed. There's a view of it from the top of the staircase just under the roof. This is another view from my underground house. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I just I'm proud of how much work I've done and how pretty it is and how much like the native forest it looks and how easy it is to gather accessories and wood and pretty much all the equipment that I need to do any work is right here where I am. Or I can just climb a waterfall. I don't dig the sand on the side wall, but I can climb a waterfall and there's a beach right outside where I can mine sand and stuff for glass. I have glass out my wazoo. This is my original bedroom, which was one of the larger houses in the village, looking down at the quarry and here you can see pretty much the whole quarry from a little hillside just outside of it in the distance you see the little church you see the flags on the tower so I know which way I'm going okay that's my first intro thingy for one of my least interesting Minecraft games I play several games so I'll post you occasionally information about what I'm doing and updates I don't know if I'm gonna do the screen capture thing with motion action because I don't think I want all that crap on my computer, but I may have to do that when I'm playing with cooties and mobs. Stick with me and we'll see what happens. Thanks for your time. Bye.